Hello everybody and welcome to today's daily devotional where we concentrate on prayer. Now before we go to many of the prayers on the prayer wall today and pray for them, ask God to be with um, all, all these people who are writing their prayer intentions there and for those even who don't write but have many on their hearts in their lives I read a scripture that really encouraged me during the week and I'd like to share it with you. Uh, the concept of when we're weak and we can't do very well, the concept Jesus knew about because he said in scripture, when you are weak, I am strong. You know, uh, John the Baptist prayed, uh, less of us, more of him. Less of me, more of him, who is Jesus. And with the power of Jesus in our life, when he is greater, we pray that we are lesser, that we allow Jesus to be greater in our life. He can be because we give him free choice to help us in our life. Again, you know, it comes down to free choice. God is, is respecter of people's choices. And so if you don't want him in your life, then he sits and stands and waits for us to turn to him. There is no limitation in him. And so if we are giving him the um, free choice, we're choosing to say, Lord, come into my life. There's no limitation in my life for you to work, I'm placing my trust, my utter belief in his grace, in his love, in his mercy and compassion, and trusting that God will answer my needs, my wants, my desires, my prayers for the benefit of myself. You know, God, it says in Romans, actually, chapter 4, verse 16, and I'm going to read it from two different translations. So the NRSV translation that we use very often, it states this. For this reason, it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants. For this reason, for what reason? The reason, if you read beforehand, it's the promise that is true. It's the truth of God's word. It's what he says is what he does. And if I read from the, um, I think it's the New Living Translation. Let me just check. No, it's the New International Version. It states this, the same scripture, and it, it ex I like to read different ones sometimes because it explains it in different words so I can have an understanding. So it's Romans 4, verse 16, and this is what it says. Therefore, the promise comes by faith so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring. And they call it here, Abraham's offspring is anybody who believes in God. So therefore, the promise comes by faith. Another way I've written down actually to explain it to me, so because when I often go back and read things again, I want to understand what I, I thought was the understanding. And I've got here, you open the door by faith. So because of our faith, our belief and trust in God. We believe in his promises. We believe that he cares for us. And so when we bring our needs to him, uh, we believe that God's grace is present in our life. And when we ask him to invite him more into our life, we pray that he takes that invitation up and fills us with more of his grace, more of his Holy Spirit, that he'll open the doors that need to be opened in our life. He'll come and answer the way he needs to answer. He'll come and give the way he knows will be best for us in our plan for our lives to give to us. So by faith, we put the prayers on the prayer wall. By faith, 
we pray for our needs. By faith, those of us who read it and pray for people as well, by faith in the true promise of God, we trust in his answer. We trust in his mercy and we trust that he hears our cry and answers our needs, our wants, our desires for the perfect will for us in our life. Because we trust that God chooses the perfect will. So let us go to the prayer wall now, believing that our prayers, because of the power of the truth of God, will open doors by our faith, the doors of the needs, the desires, the wants, the prayers that are put here will be answered, realized, come about. Miraculously, people will be healed because we trust in the living God and there's no limitations in him. So as we start, let's make the sign of the cross and ask our mighty God with Jesus' saving power, with the power of the Holy Spirit to be with us as we pray. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, we come to you today and we pray, we ask, we sit at your feet as you sit on your throne that you would hear these prayers and that you would come and answer them with your perfect will. There's someone, Lord, praying here that they've been blessed with food, but they need more food. Their husband has terminal cancer. And there's also other strife in their family that they need help with. Lord, there's blockages of people in relationships. Relationships are so difficult, Lord. And so many people, you know, take a front offense to things that are said or not said or not done or done. Lord, come, bring your love and compassion and mercy to relationships. Lord God, you promise that you will care for us. We place our trust in you. Someone asks for deliverance and healing of their brother who has mental and emotional issues. Oh God, you know what is pro the problem. Come Lord and heal, come Lord and save. Lord God, there's people here who've said that they feel felt threatened threatened by other people, threatened maybe by work, threatened by our wars, threatened by the situation they're in. Lord God, we need your help. We ask you to come and stand in victory and stand guard and stand with protection, all of those who feel threatened. And Lord, protect their minds, protect their hearts, protect their bodies. Lord God, we hand all these people over to you. Lord, we ask for prayer for someone whose daughter needs healing, physical and psychological, mental and emotional healing. We don't know what the problem is, Lord, but you do. Lord, come and heal, come and save. We place them at your feet. We place them before your throne and we trust in you. Lord God, we want we're praying for people who need jobs and work. Lord, they need to pay their bills. They need to provide food for the table. And ultimately, Lord, that's your you know, kingdom. You're, you're the one who provides for us. And if you do it by means of work, then do so. But if you do it by other means, then do so as well. But somehow the bills get paid and the food is there and, and, and people feel like, yes, my God is caring for me. My God is loving me. Give these people work too because they don't want to stay idle. They want to be able to um, work. They want to be able to provide. They need you, Lord, though, to help them with that. Lord God, we want to intercede for all those who are unwell. There are so many, Lord, who've just found out they've got cancer. There's so many who are in the midst of therapies with cancer. There are so many who've been told, no, nothing can be done. Whatever it is, Lord, we place them in your perfect comfort and care. Lord God, you can heal. You can fix and bring right. And Lord, we place in your care all of those in need. And we trust that you decide, Lord, 
when it's time for them to come home and when it's time for them to stay longer here because on earth because they haven't fulfilled what they needed to do yet that you've given them more more time and more energy and more grace holy spirit would you come and we thank you that you do cure these cancers lord there's people who are praying they find it difficult to trust trust maybe in you god will trust other people holy spirit come and fill them with your grace and the ability to trust to step out just that little bit to trust that little bit more and then when they realize that you are worthy to be trusted and and you look after them that they would step up that their faith would increase and they would trust you even more praying lord for someone's hands who needs recovery praying lord for someone's health that needs recovery and they're praying because they have young family children they need to look after they're not praying just for themselves lord they're praying because their family need them we ask you right now to come and heal them to come and restore them to good health lord god we ask you to um, talk to people help people in their minds in their ability lord in their in their um, emotional mental ability lord that needs healing that needs you oh god to be lord of all lord and king and lord god if you you bring help by other ways of you know therapies and medicine and doctors well then do so father because you've granted those doctors those therapists the ability to heal in many ways that they didn't know because you you showed them the therapy you showed them the method you invented the medicine whatever it might be oh god would you come and would you send your healing power lord there's people who pray for a child so so prevalent lord that those who have off sometimes don't appreciate the children they have but those who don't have they desire a child lord would you bless them and if it's blessing them with an adopted child a foster child a child that they can care for that's really not their own then do it that way lord lord they desire to be a mother and a father would you help them in that lord god would you help so many people who need you lord on this prayer wall lord there's many that write that they are unable to sleep they've got other health issues they feel like they're getting depressed because of life and their conditions of whatever their existence is lord come and comfort them come and love them come and show them ways and means that you are god can help them stand on their feet that you O oh god can give them the comfort of sleep and rest we ask you lord O oh god that you would help people who get what is it like i guess charged with things that they didn't do that there's lies happening that they're before the courts lord before judges lord human judges lord and they feel like I didn't do I didn't do it I, I maybe aren't misunderstood or give me a second chance whatever it is Lord would you come and would you be the judge this day would you give them mercy and compassion and give them another chance oh God we pray for the bushfires that are out there right now would you come and protect people and protect their properties would you blow the wind back upon the, the fire itself so it goes out? Lord, we're praying right now for the wars, all the wars, Lord, the innocent people that are murdered, that are injured, that are orphaned. People, oh God, who just are living life. Lord God, would you come and stop these wars, bring peace upon people's hearts? Lord God, only you can do this. Lord Jesus, we pray for 
all the people who are refugees, you know, leaving the country they, they know and love just to be safe. Lord God, would you help them? Help them find safety, help them find, you know, peace for their families and a place where they can stay until their country is healed of everything. Lord, we need you in this world. Lord, there's so many who don't know you, who don't call upon you. We pray for them right now, our own family members, our friends, our neighbors. They don't know you. They may know of you, but they don't know you. And we ask you that you would reveal yourself to them, reveal yourself to more, to us more. Because then we can Pray with your grace, believe more, have faith more, push open the doors more. And we ask all of this in the mighty name of the risen Saviour and the power from the resurrection that you said that we would have with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And we ask all of this in the mighty name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us believe because we have a greater faith, because God's given it to us by his grace and his mercy and compassion and the gifts that he has for us. Especially what a wonderful time to ask for it in this Christmas season. This season when God gave his son, Jesus, to us. So let us ask him to give more of his son, Jesus, to us, more of the Holy Spirit to us so that we can stand on, on in faith with the grace of God and believe. Have a blessed day and I'll see you next week.